Hey everybody, uh, this is Jared Metcalf. Um, I am the founder of a group. Well, it started off as a Facebook page, but um, anyway, I am the founder of the Voluntarist Liberation Movement. Uh, the Voluntarist Liberation Movement, or VLM, um, is a organization, I guess you could call it, of like-minded individuals. Um, that is dedicated to spreading the message of liberty, agorism, and individualism. We aim to do this through various forms of media and activism. Uh, our mission uh, is worded as to spread the message of voluntarism, to establish a just society, to build prosperous and peaceful communities, to liberate the mind, body, and spirit of all individuals. Uh, voluntarism is a movement um, within, I guess you would say it's kind of un within the umbrella term of anarchism. Uh, or anarchy, since, uh, well, since anarchy has now been, of course, applied so many labels because, well, um, because as we see it, the reason that you apply, when you have all these terms, whether it's, uh, the alphabet terms for, uh, people's different various sexual orientations and gender identities or political identities or in this case you have various forms of anarchy um, anarcho-capitalism, anarcho-communism, anarcho-primitivism, anarcho... there's an ism applied to it there's a lot of different ones and a voluntarist or an individualist would, and since most voluntarists are individualists, they would apply and they would say that the reason there's so many of these labeled is ism anarchies is because people are individuals. And what is right for everyone isn't right for, or what's right for one person isn't right for everyone. And you're going to have people that agree, just like under voluntarism, you know, you have people that identify as voluntarism and they don't identify maybe as libertarian. Or even identify as anarcho-capitalist. It's not typical in the voluntarist uh, label paradigm of anarchy, but it does exist. And voluntarism is basically it's just... The idea of voluntarism is that all it basic that all coercion, violence against individuals is illegitimate. All association uh, between individuals should be on a voluntary and contractual um, basis. And basically, it's it the tenets as I see them within the voluntarist liberation movement is respect life and property, practice the non-aggression principle, and speak out against injustice. And we'll kind of go over those a little bit. Respect life and property. Um, you respect. You don't kill people. You don't be violent towards people. And you don't steal people's things or destroy people's things. Um, what belongs to someone, it belongs to that person, and it's not mine. It's, you know, what's mine is not yours, and what's yours is not mine. And we, as individuals, need to respect people, people's bodies individually. We need to respect their um, lifestyles. And... We don't have to agree with them, but we need to respect them in the fact that we need to let them live. As, as long as somebody isn't harming another person, then what they do isn't our business. And 
we need to respect that. We need to respect how somebody chooses to live, as long as they're not harming anybody or taking away anybody else's freedoms by doing so. And we have to respect their property. What belongs to them belongs to them. And that means their money that they make at their job. That means the things that they buy with that money. And that means where they live. That means the property that they bought from somebody to maintain as their living space. And we have to respect that property. And part of respecting that property is not stealing it. All theft is illegitimate uh, means, and that includes taxation. Um, you know, you don't steal people's property. What they earn, what they have, they keep. And so that basically sums it up. You know, you don't hurt people, you don't oppress people, and you don't take their things. Um, practice the non-aggression principle. The non-aggression principle holds that aggression and violence and coercion are illegitimate, similar to the way voluntarism as a whole sees it, and that all association between institutions and individuals should be on a voluntary and contractual basis, just like voluntarism. Um, the non-aggression principle and voluntarism are, they are um, integral to one each other to one another. Um, the right to defend oneself and property is often overlooked, an often overlooked but very necessary part of the NAP, the NAP, the non-aggression principle. Non-aggression does not mean you can't defend yourself with violence if necessary. Um, if someone is trying to hurt you or if someone is trying to take your things, you have every right to you know, protect yourself or protect your property in the way that you see fit. Um, you have the right to defend yourself and your property. That is not, yes, you're acting in a violent means towards somebody, but only in self-defense. That is not aggression. Aggression would be stealing the property of someone is an aggressive act, or... Coercing, extorting, threatening with violence in some other way, or enacting violence upon a person who is in no way, shape, or form hurting anybody else. They're just living their life, and um, you come and steal their things or hurt them. Um, that's aggression. And they have the right, under the, the non-aggression principle, to defend themselves um yeah so within voluntarism under the voluntarist liberation movement uh, i kind of wrote a pledge and i kind of think the pledge this pledge kind of sums up in a way the oath of a voluntarist what it means to be a voluntarist uh i pledge allegiance to no flag of any country in the world, nor to any republic for which they stand. Every person without rulers, individualist with liberty and voluntary association for all. Now, nationalism, I believe there's a term called civic nationalism. Is nationalism based on a voluntary basis? In an ideal world, and we'll kind of use the United States as an example of civic nationalism, the people here can choose to leave, they can renounce their citizenship, and go elsewhere if they decide they don't want to be part of this country or this nation. Um, wanting to defend one's homeland, you know, just because you don't pledge allegiance to a flag or to a country doesn't mean that you are not going to defend your homeland, that you're not going to come together with others for a mutual benefit of defending yourselves from others who may want to further oppress you, 
outsiders uh, who want to come and harm people and steal things from people, foreign foreigners, you know, that may want to come in and harm us. Um, that's that's different than put. You know, you can not pledge allegiance. You can pledge no allegiance to any flag or any country, and still common sense is going to say, I need to come together with these people to defend myself because I live here. This is where I've chosen to live. Now, that doesn't mean that we lock up our borders and keep people from coming here. Open borders is kind of part of voluntarism. People should be allowed to travel and live wherever they want without government telling them no. Um, or anybody telling them no, for that matter. And, but there's a certain amount of assimilation that needs to happen. You move somewhere from another place because you feel this place is going to be better. You feel like this place, you like the ideals of this place. You like um, what this place stands for. And that could be any place, depending on where you want to be. Um, that's why you move there. You're like, hey, I want to move here because there's better opportunity here. They have uh, these kind of laws, and they don't have these kind of laws. And I feel like I would be more free, and I feel like I would have more opportunity in this place. So you have to, you, when you go there, you assimilate to those places. You don't want to bring what you're running from to where you're going. That's not assimilation. That's invasion, basically. And people have a right to defend themselves from that. Um, of course, there's some form of your previous life that you're going to bring with you. Europeans did. Everybody does when they move places. They have their own way of doing things. But... They have to take that as part of their individuality and not take it to a place and say, this is the, what's best and this is how you should live. Um, so, uh, yeah, like I was saying, just, cause you don't, just because we don't pledge any allegiance to a flag or to a country doesn't mean that we aren't loyal to our nation, that we don't have a... Um, selfish interest in protecting our communities and protecting our um, neighbors. You know, there is a selfish necessity. There's a selfish, um, a selfish, uh, need there. Sorry, lost my train of thought. But there is a, um, there is a selfish reason for us want to do that. To protect ourselves, we would also, in our way of life that we're enjoying, we would, if people wanted to come here and forcibly change that using violence, then you would voluntarily fight them. You would voluntarily stand up against them. Um... Another part of voluntarism is agorism. Uh, it's another one of those terms that's almost just synonymous. You know, you have uh, n the non-aggression principle, voluntarism, and agorism. They're all very, they're all very almost synonymous with one another. However, agorism, where voluntarism has to do with all association, uh, agorism has to do mainly with market association. So, agorism is establishing a society in which all business relations among people are voluntary exchanges by counter-economics to establish a free market as untainted by theft, coercion, and fraud as can be attained. This includes the absence of taxation and extortive regulations. So, it just kind of has to do with the voluntary um, aspect of a market that what that would mean is there's plenty of insurance to choose from and you can buy it or not 
and I can open up a little insurance business and insure 50 people and have my own little insurance business or whatever. What I can't do is an Obamacare type thing where I take a couple of businesses and say, you have to buy insurance, and these are going to be the businesses that provide it to you. That's not agoristic. Um, and then, of course, taxation. You know, stealing people's money that they make uh, through doing business. That if I have apples and you want to buy some apples, you give me money, I give you apples, and that's the end of it. There is no, okay, I can, I have apples, but I can only sell you apples if these people say that my apples are okay to eat, and these people say, okay, my apples came from a reputed, a, a, a source, a good source that they agree with that has proper growing conditions, and, um, then I see, I'm like, okay, so, and then these people say it's okay for me to even just be able to sell apples, period. And so finally I got that, and then I sell you apples, and some other guy comes around and says, oh, 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 wait, I need a little bit of that because I'm allowing you to do business. So agorism is basically, within our kind of market economy, agorism would be the black market. Agorism would be um, a person who puts an ad on Craigslist and to sell a shotgun and somebody buys that shotgun and I pay them cash or whoever. You know, cash is exchanged and nobody else comes in and says, well, I need a part of that. Or, oh, you can't sell that item. Or, oh, wait, we have to make sure this, I this person is... Um, that we say it's okay for this person to buy this item. So, yeah, voluntarism, non-aggression principle, agorism. That's kind of a good overview and a good um, uh, summary of voluntarism. And I gave you a little, a few little, you know, like the mission and the pledge that are under my specific um, group called Voluntarist Liberation Movement. Anyway, I uh, hope this was informative to you. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you did like the video, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. And uh, I hope to be making more content like this and spreading the uh, gospel of liberty. Anyway, um, until next time, everybody, stay vigilant, stay free, hail Libertas.